What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you a review of my WWE Custom Elite WrestleMania 35 Batista action figure. This has all been hand painted by me, I have sculpted upon the figure and I have added the various decals that I needed to add for the tattoos. Some of them I've just been able to pencil on but other ones that are more like complicated designs I've had to actually print off and use the decals for. So, getting straight into this figure, it is an Elite 33 Blue Tista figure as the base. Then what I did is obviously, you guys that would have had that figure would know that it had the blue sleeved arms and the hair, like it had black hair on its head. Now, I wanted to make this as accurate as I possibly could to what Batista was wearing at WrestleMania 35. So, what I did was I actually used some acetone and I got rid of the hair on Batista's head and instead of making it a complete bald look I actually um I got pencil and like went over with the pencil like shaded where I was and gave it that sort of stubbly effect to make it look like what your hair would look like after th about three days after you shaved it that's what it would look like then what I did is I used basic Batista arms I'm not sure which basic it was it was one of the ones from 2014 where he had the tattoos on his lower arms and I used the basic arms and the reason for that was it literally it matched up perfectly with the shading of these tattoos the older Batista basics had darker tattoos so I needed them to be a bit lighter so they'd match up perfectly um, the only downside was, obviously, there's no colouring here, uh, if the camera will focus. Mm, is it? Yeah, there's no colouring in the little symbol tattoo here. Then, basically, what I added next was the tattoos that he's got now up on his traps. So, he's got a little, I don't really know what it was, it was like a bluey sort of tattoo, uh, with a bit of red, it was like a bluey green. So, I added that up here, then he had the four, like lines that look like scratch marks I added that originally with the red paint but it didn't look good so I used the decal instead and added that all of my decals I printed out with just paper um next up he's got a little tattoo that says something like Louis live or something um and I tried to add that best as I could up here but um yeah the writing is I tried to get the writing right but it is small obviously it's gonna be a bit off because it's a custom, not a Mattel produced figure. Next up, what I did was I actually darkened these tattoos. I added uh, some pencil in the middle and stuff to make it look like they were full instead of just having gaps. Also done it under there. But other than that, moving on to the actual torso itself. He's got an, I believe it says imagination tattoo on the side. And what I did was I added this decal so it doesn't hinder the movement at all. I added it on both sides, cut it, and that lines up perfectly. When you move the ab crunch up, I've just added in some like penciled in black there, so it doesn't actually take away from it at all. Um, then we've got his belly tattoo on his lower torso. Um, I got to try, it was really hard to find a good reference picture of this from like that would match up the color tone of all the rest of it. So I had to dig quite deep. I actually went on the WWE Network and took various screenshots from the match with Triple H and use that on there. Moving on to the back, obviously I done nothing to the back tattoo, it's all the same. So, now we move into the the full on paintwork. So what I did was I had to remove these legs, um, I took off the legs and then I painted all of this white. Um, because it was blue, I wanted to paint it all white and then go over it in red. So what it was, was I, I needed to get the red tone absolutely perfect and one tip I've already well, I've been told is instead of applying the paint straight away go over it in white first um, because it lightens up the color a bit and I know that Batista's attire from Wrestlemania sorry this keeps going out of focus Batista's attire from Wrestlemania the boots were a different shade than the actual trunks themselves so what I did was I tried to match up the tone of the decal I got for the Batista logo there perfectly, which I did. On camera, it looks absolutely spot on. And he was obviously, these were these trunks were just going over. Um, you could see that he was wearing black trunks underneath it. So I added in all of the black on the inside of the legs. Then obviously added the decal uh, on the front, added the decal on the back. Uh, this one is a bit lower quality. It doesn't come out as good as I would have hoped it would have, but it still looks fine. Then, moving on to the lower legs. Now, this is where stuff gets complicated. Various part swapping was involved. 
Obviously, first off, we've got the tattoo of his three dogs there uh, that Batista has on his upper thigh. Then what we did is these aren't the original Elite 33 Batista lower legs. You hardcore Mattel fans would know that. What these are is these are Undertaker boots with Heath Slater basic lower knees. Now, what this is, is obviously, unfortunately, because they are basic knees, you don't get the double jointed knee, but, you know, that's a fair trade-off. Um, what I did was I wanted to get the black because he it's obvious he was wearing black underneath, and then I added the little grey socks he was wearing. But the Undertaker boots, now this is the most complicated part of the whole figure that I did. I've got various pictures, thank God on Instagram, that the, the company that made Batista's attire posted uh, like pictures of it because I could not get a good view of the picture from the actual WrestleMania event. And these boots are Undertaker boots that I had to paint white, then paint um, this burgundy colour. But I had to then sculpt on the various details of the boots, the various different buckles, the little shin pad like looking things that are on the boots. It's all hand sculpted by me, this is. Then obviously paint back on the black line. It doesn't show up very well in this lighting, but paint back on the black. So this was probably one of my best customs I've made other than my Dean Ambrose, and I did put it up for sale. Now, you guys that watch my JTW pick fed would know that I had a Batista figure. However, whilst shooting that pick fed, the legs actually snapped on it. Um, so I don't currently have a Batista figure now. This is already sold on eBay for a whopping sixty pounds to a seller in to a buyer in Edinburgh, and I will be shipping this out later today. That's why I have to make this video before I part ways with this figure. But I am overall, I'm very proud of it. I think it is a very good piece. It's the reason the price is so high. It's I had to buy so many different parts to use. I wanted to create the best formula I possibly could think of uh, at the cheapest price. So all in all, it has cost me a lot to make. £60, I thought, you know, is a fair price. I'm going to get about £20 profit from this in total. And yeah, I just think it's a bit of a fair trade-off. So this was my custom WWE WrestleMania 35 Elite Batista. I do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you want to make one, be sure to ask me and I can give you all the tips about it. Um, I used Milliput Epoxy Clay to sculpt on this figure. It's not the best epoxy clay around. However, it is one of the good ones that's relatively cheap. All of my paints were acrylic paints that I just ordered on eBay. And I used Mod Podge sealer to seal off the figure, so it's play with like so it's playable as much as it could possibly be without paint chip. But once again, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.